welcome to another edition of emac 2411 on youtube.com make sure to like this video and subscribe with your WWE King of the Ring 2015 tournament um, results and full show review um, this was live on the WWE Network it's an hour long starting at 7 8 um, April 20th, 2016 this is a big week you know on the uh, WWE Network there's like things on every day uh, this was kind of just continuing action from Monday Draw the King of the Ring tournament Finals and semifinals matches like place live on the this is the award winning too, WWE Network. So let's get into the matches. Three matches were on. Let's get into it. So this would open up with a graphic in memory of Verne uh Gagne. I don't even know how to say your name because I didn't disrespect anyone. Um yeah, he passed away. I think he was like like eighty nine years old, uh rest in peace. Um, didn't really know him but you know, he's just a good wrestler and stuff. Um no to his family and his friends. My condolences are out to you. And um, we get a video package for King of the Ring in an opening video. And then we see what we see the throne basically sitting on the stage. And our commentators, if you didn't know, broadcasters are Michael Cole, JBL, and Jerry Lawler. Well, yeah, actually, ain't on commentary. Eden would be your ring announcer. And she'd introduce Jerry Lawler and he'd come out to the stage to kick off the show. And then we get a recap of last night's run her own matches. And then we get a backstage interview segment um, with Baron Saxon and uh, interviewing Seamus and then Neville uh, and Renee Young backstage with Neville talking about tonight's matches the first match is Seamus Sh versus Neville uh, Seamus will come out first and Neville will be out to a big pop and those Seamus will try to try and take it to the corner you know to the corner to work Neville over but you know your winner of this match would be Neville after that was going to come off the stage with Mike. He chose to replay with Sheamus losing an extra rules. Sheamus would, mi would miss a bro kick and Neville would kick him in the head. Neville would go up for the right arrow. He nailed it for the win in the spot in the finals. So Neville would win by pinfall. Match, I think, went maybe 10 minutes, maybe not even. Um, I thought it was okay. I thought it was, I'd give it 3.5 out of 5 stars. To be honest with you, maybe, I mean, it wasn't, uh, maybe even 3. But after the match, we see Nick the Sigler basically taunt Sheamus and say he's coming to collect. On his extreme rule stipulation figure in a rushing ring, and they go at it. Sheamus would escape and retreat. Sheamus would come back to a brawl, and several of our come off the break for them apart. Sheamus would actually get busted open pretty bad on the on the commercial break. I thought, uh, with Ziggler, I thought, because Sheamus, um, Ziggler, no. Sheamus cost him his match against Barrett. So I thought Ziggler coming out was pretty good. Cost him the rivalry, probably a few, they'll probably have another match or something. <coughs> he was there, was actually blazed. Got it up pretty bad. I like that segment actually, you know, they actually had a brawl. They had a little bit of something else. So yeah, not bad. And then um Renee would be interviewing Renee Young would be interviewing backstage with Bad News Bear and then Barrett, um, with Cultures, uh, has been and a uh, Neville and never will be. Then Saxon would be backstage and interview with our truth who talks a lot about the spiders, basically. Our truth versus Bad News Bear, it's your second match, semifinals number two, um and yeah. But uh, your winner, not that long of a match, maybe five minutes, maybe. Maybe I would say maybe less. You know, and then would be Bannis Barrett after uh, Barrett would um would get a cheap shot in on our truth and then come back in the ring and nail April Hammer for the one for the pinfall. So yeah, Bannis Barrett and Neville. You know, you're wondering who is Neville gonna face because he's defeated Sheamus. Big win and then who is he gonna face? Bannis Barrett in the finals, not our truth. Um and then running out would be backstage with another interview with Stall Sailor. <coughs> <coughs> so you're gonna say what happened to Seamus was just a taste of what will happen the next time they get in the ring. So yeah. It's gonna be a quick video really. Hope you're enjoying it right now, hope you're liking it and stuff. So I do a video. That's why you should get the W Network sign up. It's still month free for the month month of April. Um check out some good stuff on there. Check out the costume there's new, all new, fresh and stuff, even pay ninety nine even at, in May, so you'll see. Check it out if you wanna see it yourself. And then Saxon would be uh, another interview with backstage with Barrett for comments on facing Neville. He would say that it's not fair he has to face Neville right after eating our truth, but it's not or beating. I mean, that's right, sorry, uh, beating our truth, but it's also not fair that Neville has to face him because he's on a roll. Yeah. And then your final King of the Ring 2015 tournament match is Neville versus Benzer, a rematch from the Extreme Rules uh, 2015 kickoff pre-show match. Neville won that, but can he do it again for a second time? And I'd have to give the next match, second match, I would give it a 
three out of five stars. Being nice. Um, it was okay. Archer's never really had a shot in my opinion. I thought Seamus was going to be Neville, but, uh, uh, pretty good. And then, um, basically at the end, your winner and the king, the doesn't seem king there, and the winner of the tournament is, well, basically what would happen is that, um, Neville basically would, uh, counter a move, and then he would drop Barrett again. He would go for the right open, that's to land on his feet. Barrett would nail a bull hammer out of nowhere for the win, so... The winner in the Tilson King Ring Tournament the winner, um, Bad News Barrett. I was thinking I wasn't sure if that was going to win, but Bad News Barrett, oh, it's kind of, it was kind of the right move. So we go to Sage's Lawler, Barrett would crown himself, and that's why Lawler. Because, you know, oh, there it is. Lawler, winner, and News Barrett is the new King Ring and fans boot. Barrett would say that though he finally has someone with enough class to call himself King. Barrett says he will be early in this game with an iron fist and a bull hammer. Pyro would go off as Barrett poses, and we go, uh, and we go up there with a shot at Barrett on his turn. First time in five years. This happened, you know, it was only a two day period. I wish like it would have been more matches, more participants. It would have went longer weeks, you know, maybe in a pay per view or something. But two days, probably just because of the network and stuff. More promotion, it would have been better. Overall, I got to give this whole tournament as a whole, all the matches, participants in it. Three out of, three out of five stars. Eight. 2.5 out of five stars. That's fine, I don't even know. Not, not bad. Not, not good, not bad. Mm -hmm. And it's very, I thought it was the right choice. I think it's his time, you know, push, you know, he's, you know, should have been a world champion, he's intercontinental champion, he's been in multiple stuff, you know, cut pretty good career, now that adding this to his resume with other people in it, like, you know, other King Ring winners like Bret Hart, Triple H, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Brock Lesnar, most goes on and on. Hopefully, we'll see what happens with him now. Will this deep push him? I mean, is this an elite son? We're going to see. So yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, see you YouTube, peace out. Make sure to like this video, share this video all over the entire internet. On Facebook, Tote, and Twitter, comment with your thoughts and your opinions. Subscribe.